Hey everyone, it is, it's about 12.30, so come on in, settle in for midday prayer. I hope your um, morning has gone really well and that you have had lots of good things going on. And we will pray midday prayer. Midday, these prayer sessions are things that the Adjust team, um, Anglican Dias, Auckland Diocese for Justice, set up in the last kind of COVID lockdown. We still hope it brings peace and community and a time to reflect and to pray in these still uncertain times. They will continue this week anyhow, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, 7.30 a.m., 12.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. So I'm the Reverend Jim D. Burwell. I am the priest in Albany and Greenhithe on the north shore of Auckland. As we come to pray, let's just take a moment and pause. Breathe deeply. Reorientate ourselves to God. Let go of what happened this morning. Don't dwell too much on what's happening this afternoon and offer this time to God. on page 147. Etu whanau, my brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Eternal spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The psalm for this morning, or for midday, is Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for the Lord has done marvellous things. With your own right hand, O Lord, and with your holy arm, you have gained for yourself the victory. You have made known your victory. You have displayed your saving power to all the nations. You have remembered your faithfulness and your love for the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen your victory. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Sing and rejoice with the sound of melody. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of song. With trumpets also and horns, shout with joy before the Lord our King. Let the sea roar and all that is in it the world and those who inhabit it. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills rejoice together before the Lord. For you, O Lord, are coming to judge the earth. With righteousness you will judge the world and the peoples with equity. The first reading for today is from one of the many letters in the Bible that I um, really like. 
Today is the second letter to the Thessalonians. Chapter 2, beginning at verse 1, and then it kind of moves around a little bit. As to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, we beg you, brothers and sisters, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as though from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord is already here. Let no one deceive you in any way. For this purpose he called you through our proclamation of the good news, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by our letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. We have a small portion of Matthew's Gospel today. Matthew 23, starting at verse 23. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you tithe mint, dill and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. It is these you ought to have practised, without neglecting the others. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat, but swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you clean the outside of the cup and of the plate, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee. First clean the inside of the cup, so that the outside also may become clean. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Let's turn to page 160. Lord God, you are above and beyond all things. Your nature is to love. You put us in the furnace of the world to learn to love you and love one another. Father, we sing to you in the furnace like the three Jewish children. The hope and the doom of the love of friends is eating up the marrow of our bones. Lord Christ, you are the house in which we live. 
the house in which we share the cup of peace, the house of your body that was broken on the cross, the house you have built for us beyond the stars. Lord, Holy Spirit, beyond, within, above. Beneath all things you give us life. Blaze in our hearts, you who are love himself, till we shine like the noonday sun. Lord God, we are little children, the feeble ones of the world. Carry us forever in your breast, Lord God. Give us the power by love to be your holy ones. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us be at peace within ourselves. Let us accept that we are profoundly loved and need never be afraid. Let us be aware of the source of being that is common to us all and to all living creatures. Let us be filled with the presence of the great compassion towards ourselves and towards all living beings. Realising that we are all nourished from the same source of life, may we so live that others be not deprived of air, food, shelter, or the chance to live. Let us pray that we ourselves cease to be a cause of suffering for others. With humility, let us pray for the establishment of peace in our hearts and on earth. May God kindle in us the fire of love to bring us alive and give warmth to the world. Lead me from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead me from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead me from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our heart, our world, our universe. Blessed Saviour, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may be drawn to your uplifted love. For your kingdom's sake. Amen. Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
May the Creator bless you and keep you. May the beloved companion face you and have mercy upon you. May the eternal spirit's countenance be turned to you and give you peace. May the three in one bless you. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. We will be gathering again at 8.30 tonight for night prayer. Until next time, God bless. Take care. See ya.